Hello friends, welcome to Input Output Campus. So today we will discuss about your very very important coding questions. So as well this is a string type questions and these types of questions are frequently asked in coding interview round or any on campus or off campus coding rounds. So first we will see what is the problem and how to solve this problem. We will see the approach how to solve it then we will write the code. So here is the question count the number of characters in each or in a sentence so you will be given a or suppose who are you okay so this is a sentence and you are given this string and you have to show the number of characters in each or so in the first word you can see so if you write here so here is the first word and the number of characters in the first word is 3 and for the second word so our second word is R and the number of character is 1 and third is U here is also the number of characters is 3 and for this the number of character is 2. So you will be given this is as input. So you will be given this is as input and you have to show this output. So for the age or how many number of characters are present. Okay. So for this what we will do. So to solve this problem, we'll first iterate this sentence from first to last. So you know how to iterate a string. So to iterate a string, we'll write a for loop to iterate it. So first we'll write a for loop to iterate the whole sentence for int i equals to 0 to so i equals to 0 to i less than so name of the string is suppose sentence s n so sentence dot length l n g t h and i plus plus so first we'll iterate this whole string and then inside this for loop what we'll do so then inside this for loop we'll write a while loop to iterate each and every word so we'll write a while loop inside this and we'll check for every time if this is a space so if this current position is a space then we'll go out of this while loop and we'll print the number of characters in this word okay so after going outside this we'll print here print the number of characters so in this way we'll iterate whole the sentence and every word in the sentence and we'll output the number of characters in each words one by one okay so hope you understand this problem and how to solve it so now we'll do the coding for this problem okay okay here you can select your preferable language so here i select the java okay we'll delete this so don't worry if you don't know the java explain you step by step how to solve this problem so this is a class main this is public class main and inside this class main function public static void main inside this main function what we'll write here we'll write the string so this is similar like the C++ suppose name of the string is SCN and we'll write here who are you okay and so this is the string and here we'll write a function so suppose count and inside this count we'll send this string okay 
so inside this main class inside this main class and before this main function will write this count method so here we'll write the method so static void count so inside this count here will be our string so string so suppose this is s okay so over here the string s will take this string who are you so this is sent with this count method and this will and this s will take this string okay so first what we'll do we'll convert this string into the character array so we'll write the character array like this character and then the name of the character array suppose name of the character array is ch and then we'll convert this string to the character array so for that we'll write s dot so s will be converted to character array so character array okay so now this string is converted into the character array so now we'll iterate from first to last of this character array so using a for loop for int i equals to 0 i less than series dot character dot length i plus plus okay so inside this will uh, write a string so name of the string is suppose and the name of the string is suppose or okay so this is a string and we'll initialize it suppose there is nothing inside this so now we'll write a while loop so inside this while loop we'll check if i is less than character dot length and we'll check another condition is if character of i ch of i is not equals to space because if there is a space then we'll go outside of this while loop if i is less than ch dot length and ch of i not equals to space if this condition satisfied then what we'll do and we'll store each character into the string or so for that what we'll do or equals to or plus character of i so character of i will be stored into the or and then we'll increase it and after storing the character value into the or i value will be increased and it will check again if i value is less than the character dot length and character of i value is not equals to space if character of i value equals to equals to space if character of i value equals to equals to space that means if the i value is after the character o that is here if the i value is here that is if the i value get and space then the while loop will be terminated and then we'll print then we'll print what then we'll print the length of the or so for that we'll write system dot out dot print ln and inside this what we'll write we'll write the string this string or so or plus and and the number of characters so for that we'll just write the length of the string so or dot y dot length and after printing h or and its length then it will go to the for loop again and it will go to the while loop and it will print the next or and its length and before printing this line we'll check a condition 
if this is if the length is greater than zero or not if the length is greater than zero only then we'll print the value so for that we'll check a conditions if word dot length if word dot length is greater than zero if word dot length is greater than zero then we'll print this okay so now we'll run this program and let's see what happened you can see here the first word is who and the length of this word is 3 and the second is r whose length is 1 and the third is u y o u u whose length is 4 and and the next is question mark whose length is 2 okay so hope you understand this problem and understand the whole concept of this program and if you have any questions or queries regarding this problem then please comment below and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe it now because it will be helpful for your upcoming interviews and on campus and off campus examinations so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video